the issue of foreign talents was a hot topic among 250 youths from local and overseas universities and institutions at a Singaporeans in Conversation dialogue with Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chi Hien on Saturday. I think foreign talent was something that should have been debated more to see what are the um, side problems that could have come out and effects. what kind of complementary policies would be needed. The amount of foreign workers in Singapore is really imploding and as what um, the SMU girl was saying about change, as in I agree with um, Sir, as in that change is really going a little too fast at least for me to take, especially since um, I read a recent report that is this influx of foreign workers that's actually leading to transport woes? For me, I serve national service. Um, so would that give me more priority to get a job over a foreign talent? People are also having an issue with the idea that if Singaporeans cannot do it, let the foreigners do it. Are we looking to turn our foreign talent into Singapore, like people who come to Singapore to work, to, to become Singaporeans? Or are we turning into, in a sense, a cosmopolitan society, a society which lets people, you know, flow in and out. We can actually tune the numbers, the quality, the people who come here, how long they can stay, where they can work, and so on. We can tune this and we can get it right. If we turn the knob too far down, we will end up with an aging population and a population and a country which lacks energy and vitality and people like you will leave. Many of you will leave. If we turn the knob too far to the right at any particular point in time, we can become overcrowded, people feel uncomfortable and so on, as has been happening in the last few years. But you have to understand that migration is not something which is just controlled by us. There are wider currents in the world taking place. So you have to make these adjustments and as a government you have to make judgments and you have to take risks because if you don't take risks as a government you are also not being responsible to the people because you are also missing opportunities. Change involves taking calculated risks and sometimes the decisions work out better Sometimes they don't work out as well as you could have hoped. So this is one major factor. Why do we need people? In some of the new industries that we are creating, we just don't have enough people. So it's very difficult to explain to a person, I go and apply for a job, two foreigners, two Singaporeans, one space available, Foreigner gets the job, therefore foreigner took my job. But for some of the activities we have in Singapore, if we did not give the companies that ability to offer the job like this, the company won't be here. So the two Singaporeans would not even have had the opportunity to apply for the job because the opening is not there and the job would have been somewhere else, somewhere else in the world. So it's very difficult to explain. But for some of the key industries that we've been building up, biomedical, many sectors in the financial services industry, we need that kind of cosmopolitan pool in order to be able to attract those jobs to Singapore. DPM Dio was speaking at the second Singaporeans in Conversation Dialogue organised by United Kingdom Singapore Students' Council. The three-hour session drew 28 questions on a broad range of subjects from the role of youth in politics to the value of opposition parties. In the next clip, one student asked DPM Dio if he can envision a Singapore without the PAP. Find out what DPM Dio has to say.